story time with Kai Hendry. Well, you might know me for making Arch Linux install videos. My real passion has been not just Linux, it's been mobile and web. And you and when I mention the web, you know, you, you're probably thinking, well, the web is a mess, it's bloated, it's not suck less. And whilst that's true, I am a big web proponent and let, let, let me explain why. So my first contact with the web, I guess, was in the BBS days when, when Windsock and Mosaic came along, and I, and it was like the first time, like you know, text and images were in line, and uh, it, it felt like a, a big event. I didn't see it as like a platform, you know, it was quite basic back then. But it was in university. My first university was Bath University in 1998, and. A couple of interesting events happened. Netscape was open sourced, and uh, there was a there was a guy in my same year in the physics department named Ian Hickson, and we we all used to hang out on, in the, the the computer library in Bath University in the evenings, and he was there working on Netscape. He Ian Hickson is a savant. I haven't met many people like him. He um, I think the first time I observed him, he had like a ruler out on the, on a CRT monitor, sort of reporting a bug about CSS alignment or something like that. And um, as you may or not know, Ian Hickson uh, later became the editor of HTML. And to be honest, I have no idea what he's up to nowadays, but you know, that guy, brilliant. He's done a huge service to the web um, and he d deserved recognition too, I dare say. And he influenced me. To work on the web, um, so well. Fast forward a few years from university, um, I did write a master's thesis about the web and device-independent mobile stuff. But fast forward to perhaps when I started working on uh, in the Applix uh, Corporation, a Japanese company in England, under a guy named Paddy Byers, and we worked on the web. We wanted to extend the web to have device APIs so that it could be like a runtime, mobile runtime, so that you could get access to accelerometer, so you can get access to geolocation, things like that. And we did that extension through NPAPI uh, plugin system, in uh, which was available in all the browsers at the time. And uh, another interesting fact, suckless creator, Ansam Garb, um, I, <laughs> Uh, you know, with we, sort of friends, I guess, and I asked him to join the company, and we worked together for a couple of years, and that was some of the best years of my of my career working with with such a talent as Ansam. He's such a fantastic coder; it's unbelievable. Um, and also, Paddy Byers is just is just like as a as a as a manager, as a technical leader, he's brilliant too. But, sorry, this story is a bit rambling. The reason why I came into the study right now is to do some work. And why I need to do some work, I need to work on Web Converger. So later I became, I made my own product called Web Converger. Actually, kind of at the same time as Applex, kind of before then. And basically what it is, it's a Debian Live distro, which, which sort of rolls up Firefox with my own extension, which is kind of like in Pappy, but it isn't. It's uh, using Firefox extensions to lock it down to remove all the, the junk Firefox features and just have it locked down so that it's suitable for public spaces like a library. So this is rambling a bit. So I need to work on that today because Firefox has kind of broken that extension system a, a couple of versions ago and releases a version every couple of months. So <laughs> that's probably many versions ago. And I need to now try to figure out how to update Firefox because I'm getting complaints from Web Converger users that the Firefox that I ship with it is too old. So now I have to update the extension. And it's really hard. It's going to be hard because there's just been a general trend with with the with browsers to well that they, they've they put in Pappy to bed. Which is just a shame because in Pappy, while I worked on a in plug in Pappy plug Web VM, you've never heard of it. It wasn't a success, but it was a way to extend the web. And similarly, let's be honest, Flash is hated, but it was the the reason why the web video and all that stuff sort of took off. I mean, 
like it or not, Flash helped the web, is all I'm saying. But that extension, that sort of life, that sort of back door to, to web browsers is not available. And similarly, the whole extension API in Firefox is kind of broken now, thanks, thanks to Move to Quantum. I think, I think it's the same with Chrome. You know, there, there was going to bust that extension. So it's a bit, sh and basically what I wanted to say on camera here with this, with this ramble, I feel like the web is in a bad place right now because there's no real path to come out. And you know, like Apple's WebKit, it's just in a swamp. You know, it's, Apple's not going to push WebKit, is it? And then, and then, and then obviously Google has its own little problems with having complete control and then they want to make sure their advertising ecosystem works and, I have been using Firefox though. I've actually switched a few months ago, thanks to some comments below about uh, to move to Firefox. I'm actually quite a happy Firefox user. It's just that I just lament that some of Mozilla's actions, like breaking extensions and things like that. But I don't think I'm ranting here. I think I'm going to have a good good old look, and I'm going to try fix it, and hopefully I'll manage to fix it with some people's help. So if you have any spare time and you want to help me, <laughs> it's just a this is a terrible sales pitch, isn't it? If you want to help me make a, a lockdown extension for Firefox, please do. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed that story. I think, I think the web. Yeah, you know, what are your thoughts on the web? Actually, I mean, hopefully you don't dismiss it. It is the open platform. It's the only app, open application runtime sort of thing. We got to work at it, and um, I'm going to work at it, on it right now. And I hope you you also do it at the same time. Please, yeah. The web is, is uh, yeah, we have to think of ways of making it better than what it is today. Thanks guys, please like the video, please subscribe if you haven't already, and do comment below. And um, sorry, I don't really have time to make these tutorial videos, so I'm gonna have these sort of stupid story times and I hope you like them. If I, if I can do better, please let me know. Bye.